Hello, my fellow readers, I Dark Symphony 777 with a new Let's Play. This is Shin Megami Tensei Double Survivor Overclocked. Now, uh, this game is apparently a port of Double Survivor. This is a port from the, D uh, the DS to the 3DS. And this is the game was made by Atlas in 2011. And to be honest, this was actually one of the, the only two games ever that I actually rage quit on because of a specific a specific part of the game that I just could never beat no matter how hard I tried. And so I rage quit and never touched this game again for years until I play until I read and reviewed Mano uh, Megami no Hanabira. And as I said in that review I said that the story actually got me inspired to actually try this game out again. So I actually wanted to try it out and and play it and have all that jazz. So I'd like to thank the author of Megami no Hanabira. I'm actually gonna probably gonna message him. Uh, let him know, so, hey, I, I, I start uploading this stuff like, so check it out when you want. Uh, maybe <laughs> help me out <laughs> every once in a while, because <laughs> I don't jack shit about Shin Megami Tensei. I'm not an RPG guy. I, I think RPG is probably like my least favorite uh, type of game, because I just, I've never been good at them. But yeah. But I wanted to actually play this game. Uh, let's actually go and start. We're gonna actually go normal mode. Yeah, let's go. One, born of human flesh. Man is now a race of some power. You, son of man, must face the power you hold. And you must face your destiny as well. Ah, yes. Hello, Luca. Hello? Can I skip this? Hey, Yuzu. I just got an email from Naoya. He wants to know if we can hang out tomorrow. Okay. Naoya? Isn't that his cousin? I should be free tomorrow. Though your days be peaceful, the fated time draws near. I am your judgment. I sundered the tongue of your fathers and shattered their arrogant power. I can't do this. What was I thinking when she gave me this song? Just take your time. The language of song is boundless. Do what your heart tells you. Okay. So long as the Lord does not live in you, all living beings hold darkness in their hearts. The summoning vessel is complete. Will you continue to lend us your strength? Give it! Give it! Give it! I've done nothing. The primal common tongue summoned them. Besides, I follow no god. If you truly wish to be yourself, then rise and fight the darkness within, the demon inside. You have the will to challenge your destiny of battle, son of man. State your name. Alright, so that's over. So, I actually already have a name in mind. Uh, so yeah, uh, I actually bought this game originally back when the 3DS actually launched. So, fun fact, uh... The 3DS was a game system that I actually owned. I actually owned a lot of gaming systems when, as I grew up, I owned like so 
so many. No, 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 no. So, I own a lot of gaming systems when I was growing up, and I actually, I think the 3DS was actually the first game system I actually bought on my own. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the 3DS was actually the first game I bought, I, I have bought for myself. And I actually wanted to buy, uh, wanted... Uh, I actually want, as he proclaimed, this world, created in seven days, shall be destroyed by the sounding of seven trumpets. So anyway, I originally bought the 3DS specifically for you have a will. Uh, fear the numbers your eyes shall see. Okay? Fear the time left. What? Okay. Ah, come on, let me finish my story. Okay. Is this a story? Okay. So I originally, day before, an to the ordinary. Okay. Shibuya 901. Can I just finish my story? Okay. Mid-August. Okay, let me just finish the story. So I originally bought the 3DS specifically for two games. And they were Resident Evil Mercenaries 3D because I'm actually a big fan of that mode in Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 5. And when I found out there was actually an actual mode being made... Specific, uh, a game specifically made for the DDS for that mode. I, I wanted it. And the other reason I wanted to buy a 3DS was Mega Man Legends 3. Yeah, you can you kind of tell what happened with that one. <laughs> you can do your you can do your research. Uh, just it hurts. Even all even like a decade later, it still hurts. It. Still hurts to just talk about the fact that Legends Third was Catholic. <sighs> oh, for such a dumbass reason. Um. So anyway, when I had the 3DS and I went to buy it, and my grandmother promised to get me three games, and I got I got Resident Evil Mercenaries 3D, no problem. And I was trying to figure out what other games uh, I wanted to get. So I got Star Fox 64 3D, which was a port of Star Fox 64 over the, from the Nintendo 64, which was another game I actually owned. Yeah, I owned a Nintendo 64. Like I said, I owned a lot of game systems when I was a kid. Uh, and then I was actually having trouble uh, deciding what the third game would be. And then I spotted Devil Survivor Overclocked. And it's like, hmm, you know what, let's try it. Because I never even heard of Shin Megami Tensei before that moment. And then I played the game, and I li actually liked the game. And then I got walled by Bel by uh, Belder, and I completely rage quit. <laughs> We're gonna see Belder, and I'm gonna hopefully fucking get past him. Cause I want to fucking beat him. Cause I, if I'm playing normal because I know I'm doing this proper. I'm not doing easy. I am. I am a coward. I ain't a game journalist. Uh, let's see. Let's actually get back in the game. Uh, Mid August. Summer of your second year in high school is almost over. People visiting Tokyo have begun traveling back home. It feels as if there are fewer people about in Shibuya. Your cousin Naoya, with whom you've been living with until a few years ago, suddenly called for you to meet him outside 901. Hey! Over here! Okay. A boy carrying a laptop computer runs up to you. Yo, how's it going? Oh, real nice of Naoya to make us meet him outside on a hot day like this, isn't it? Yeah. So how's your summer been? We usually meet at school, so it feels like it's been forever. Is everything good? Yeah. Ah, that's the dude I know. Young guys like us need to be full of energy. Still, I couldn't think of anything to do, so I spent all day on my laptop. <laughs> oh, this is great timing though, man. I just ran into this problem with my coding. Oh, it has me completely stumped, so I was about to go ask Naoya if he could help. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you guys. Oh, uh, who's been looking for us? Hey, here comes Yuhu. Ah, some Yuhu. Wait a minute. She's a, she's a drink. Mm, I can use. I can go for some Yuhu right now. 
Don't call me Yoo-Hoo. My name it's is Yuzu. Yuzu. Ugh, will you stop calling me that stupid nickname? I mean, do you want to be called a strawberry drink? I would like to be called a strawberry drink. Oh! Demon boys at school call me Yoo-Hoo, and it's your fault. <laughs> it's not that bad, is it? I I'm pretty sure it is. It's a friendly nickname. And it's not just our class. Some of the teachers actually think your name is Yoo-Hoo. Yes, it is that bad. <laughs> That's because people like you keep calling me that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. God dang it. Will you cut, uh... You cut it out. He keeps calling me Yoo-Hoo. I mean, you're wearing a lot of pink. Pink banana. I'm guessing a pink shirt. Maybe a pink bra. I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell from this angle. Uh, huh? Oh, that's right. I ran into Naya a moment ago, and he asked me to give these to Atsuro and you. Okay. He said that something's come up, and he won't be able to make it. Oh, what's up with that? Now you stood us up. Wait, what did he want you to give us? Here, take them. They were a pain to carry around in my bag, too. Alright. Yuzu opens her bag. Are those three S's? I never actually noticed in the, on the when I was playing the 3DS because the screen was too small, so I couldn't really notice the small the the details that well. But looking at a bigger screen, those are 3DS's. What the hell? Um, maybe self aware. Uh, now you gave you these? Yep. Aren't these those communication player things? Yes. I've seen commercials for them before. They're like, play with people around the world. Uh huh. Oh, you know about them, Yuhu? That's exactly what these are. To name communication player is a real mouthful, so people just call them comps. Well, they have email and a web browser, so they're more like cell phones than game systems. I mean, just do they, do they call people? If they don't call people, then they're not cell. Then they're not cell phones. That's the whole point of cell phones being separate from like the beeper. <laughs> uh, huh? Is that so? Now you said you'll all need these. Don't let go of them. Huh? You'll all need? Well, there are three of them. Okay. Still, why would we need these? I mean, I've got a comp back at my own. Huh? Huh? Atsu opens one of the comps and stares at it in wonder. What the? I've never seen this menu. Did he homebrew this? That's a... It's actually a word I haven't heard in so long. For those of you who don't know what homebrew is, I think that's like another title for... Another thing for... Uh, for like hacking into some... I know there was like a thing with like the Wii for a while. There's like a homebrew channel where you can like do hacks and stuff. Where you can install hacks into the Wii. What? Do you mean he made this himself? Is that even possible? Huh? Don't you know Yuhu? Now he is famous among us programmers. He's a genius. Ah. Something like this would be no problem for him. Huh. I had no idea. Is he really that good? Hmm. I can't open this folder. Looks like it's protected. Protected? You mean... It's set so other people can't mess with it. We can't look. Uh, it's a rock and crack it. Uh, yeah. So it's set so other people. I accidentally pressed the A button. It's set so other people can mess with it. We can't look inside. I mean, it's a rock and crack it. I'm pretty sure it can. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Good thing I brought my laptop along. Atsuro connects the comp to his laptop and begins typing curiously. Huh? Hey, Atsuro, what are you doing? <laughs> what does it look like? I'm gonna hack this folder wide open. You're hacking it? Hey, now you're gonna be angry if you do that. It's not a big deal. Huh? Are you sure about this? I'm pretty sure. You don't get it, Yuhu. Now he's my teacher. If he took the time to call me up and give it to me, that means he wants me to break his protection scheme. It's like a friendly greeting. One hell of a greeting. That doesn't make any sense. Why can't he say hello like a normal person? Because he's a weeb. <laughs> I mean, you saw, I, think, I think that was him earlier. 
with the girl. Uh, it looks like someone, you do, he doesn't really say hello to like a normal person. He probably just goes, it's like, Ooh, and then throws a paper, and then throws a paper plant at you, hoping you open it and say hello. Let's take a look here. <laughs> What's his encryption scheme this time? <laughs> Isn't this intense? Yes. No, only someone like you would find this exciting, Atsuro. Hmm. Ha! There we go. Well, you can hey. at least check your mail for now. Here, these are yours. Hey. Soro will give you a cup. All right, let's actually read through an email to mark it as read. You will need to reach the bottom of the email to close the email viewer. Okay. Good morning. Here is today's news by the pop the place mail from the observer. Okay. At around 1600, the man will be killed in a in a Shibuya Ku Aoyama apartment. The wounds on the carpet are consistent with the attack uh, by an large carnivorous beast. A large explosion will occur in Minaoku Ayama in 1900. The cause is unknown. At 2100, a blackout will affect the entire Tokyo metropolitan area. Have a nice day. At around 1600 in Shibuyaku Aoyama, a man will be killed? He'll be attacked by some carnivorous beast. Uh, what kind of news is this? That's so creepy. I mean, it is. Yeah, it is creepy. I know, right? The way it's written so offhandedly just makes it even creepier. Mm. It also said there will be a blackout in Tokyo today. What is this? Mm. It says it's today's news, but none of this has happened today. Why would now you put a lock on this? Ooh, maybe it's code for something. Go for something. Yeah, yeah I'll tell you something. That. <laughs> Aoyama. Aoyama. Hmm. Naoya's place is near there, but is that important? That's enough! This is way too creepy! I bet Naoya knew you would tinker with the comps and played a trick on us. I don't know. He's amazingly smart, so I think he must have meant for this to happen. I mean... Hmm, I can't figure it out from just this. I'll try the rest of these files, too. Okay. I'm gonna go find somewhere I can think. Go kill some time. Oh, you can take the comps. Okay. Some of their functions still work, so you might as well try them out. See you later, okay? Alright. Atsuro leaves the area to take a closer look into the cops. I bet it's all just a prank. Atsuro always acts like such a kid with stuff like this. Um, mm. what should we do? Why don't we wander around until Atsuro's done? Alright. You and Yuzu leave the 901. Okay. So this is the map area. Well, what should we do? We can go kill some time in Shibuya or go somewhere else. I'm okay either way, Ryo. Choose the location you'd like to go to next to continue the story event. Press the X buttons to open the comp menu, where you can save the game among other things. Select the destination from the list to move there and advance the story. You can press the X button to here to open the comp menu. From the comp menu, use the menu icons to access various functions. To save the game, select the save icon here and bring up the save menu. It's recommended that you save the game to free book. Move help text. Uh, more help text can be found at the bottom of the touch screen. Now press the X button to access the console menu. Okay, so let's actually let's actually go save first. Huh. That name set looks familiar. Uh, let's actually look at their profiles. So we have Atsuro. Atsuro Kihara. Hi, uh, high school castmate and best friends of me. Acquainted with Naoya through programming forums online before me. Uh, me. Starving, striving to become a programmer, calls himself Naoya's number one apprentice. Okay. Yuzu. Yuzu Tanikawa. Childhood friends with me since grade school. Also knows his cousin Naoya. Still friends with him now that they're in high school together. Asoro likes to call her Yuhu. And she really doesn't like that. Don't call. Oh. Oh, okay, so she, she doesn't have a bra. Okay. She still wears a lot of pink. She clearly wears a lot of pink. Alright, so... Alright, so... I what, uh... Okay, so what happened is I actually say, uh, put a save state so I can show off both of these. I, so that way I can show off both. And because how the game works... Hey, don't be so impatient. Even with my skills, I can't finish my analysis that fast. Uh, how the game works is every time you go to an area with a clock, uh, it will actually move the time forward by half, by 30 minutes. 
And sometimes, uh, when you pick one area, uh, the other area won't become accessible. So I just want to shoot. I'm going to try and show those off as best as I can because I don't know what's going to happen. I think. I don't know if this is one of those games where. Um, where your choices actually matter and kind of go down different paths, so I don't, I honestly don't know. If it, if it turned out to be true, then I don't know, I may have to play this game multiple times to show off everything. Uh, yeah. You're not as good as you claim to be, then? Don't be ridiculous. Now you wrote this encryption program. A normal man couldn't solve this in a week, but I'll have it done in a matter of hours. Okay. All right, all right. You're now his best apprentice. We get it. That's exactly right, Yoo-Hoo. Don't, don't call her Yoo-Hoo. Don't call me Yoo-Hoo. Call it. <laughs> Let's go. He can stare at that screen until his eyeballs explode. <laughs> anyway, I'll be a bit longer, so go find something to do. Okay. So, let's actually... Go to the other one. Okay, so let's do this. Now, the thing you have to understand with playing this game on Citra is this game has some kind of weird, uh, some issues with like certain functions. The only function that I heard that's actually a really big problem is when you pause the game and start it, it'll actually speed up. And if you do the summon command, I'll actually explain this uh, later, where where if you use the summon command, uh, it would actually just completely freeze the game. Not to mention, if you ever play, if you play this game, you have to actually go to the settings and turn off and lower the overclock settings to like 55, 50%. Because if you play the game normally, it'll just show a blank screen, won't show anything. Yeah. No chance. And you gotta actually like lower the settings just for the screen to show up. Uh, Shinjuku Kanagicho. As usual, Japan's largest shopping district is bustling. Okay. Now, what should we do? Want to go watch a movie or do some karaoke? Hmm. Atsura might call us, so we should go somewhere with cell phone reception. Okay. You notice a suspicious group wearing bizarre outfits standing in the room. See, there's this. <coughs> this is why I got some vibes to when I started reading Megami no. Hanabara, because this actually, you know, at the beginning of the story, this, they actually showed, like, me weird cloaked individuals. Man who appears to be the leader is making a speech from a podium. And lo, the smiting from God against the Tower of Babel returns! Okay. Oh, man. What's with that bunch of weirdos? Now, along with our Shomunkai, let us bring the world together! With the power of the internet, the world will be as one once more. I I doubt that. You wanna know why? Simple. Social media. Always an evil place to be. So you never see me on the Twitter. The power of the internet, huh? <laughs> Give me a break. Are you interested in this? So I'll never be on Twitter and Facebook because I don't trust those. I don't trust those sites. Those they, and plus those sites are garbage. I'd rather just. I'd rather just communicate and hang out with people on Discord and stuff like that. Or to have people or talk to people on YouTube. Um Not really. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. Their clothes are weird too. Well, even I think it's great how the internet lets you connect with the world. Okay. But all this stuff about gods and bringing the world together, I don't know. I it honestly sounds weird. <sighs> Why are we even talking about this? Let's go somewhere else. For these next three days, believers in the power of the internet will gather in Tokyo. All members are welcome to take part. Believe in his majesty and prepare for the ordeal. That is when we shall... The speech continues. Let's go to Omarasando. Talk to Yuzu. I'm not gonna call her you. I'd be too busy getting the thirsty. The stores around here are really fashionable. They're all like so mature, you know? Mm -hmm. I used to go to Harajuku all the time, but I always wanted to fit in at Omote Sando. Hey, do you think I stick out like a sore thumb here? 
Um... I mean, I think my character sticks out of Sword Throne. What is with those headphones? Seriously. And also, I got a circular collar. I mean, I, 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 I'm pretty sure I stand out more than she does. She just has a normal dress and a pink scarf headband thing. Nah, right. No way. Really? Oh, thanks. Okay. Don't you think that Harajuku and Amote Sando have different images? I have no idea what those places are. Amote Sando feels more like Aoyama's style than Harajuku's. Speaking of Aoyama, hey, what time is it right now? Uh, 1630. 1630? Uh, I was just thinking about that email in the comp. You know, the one about someone being attacked by a carnivorous beast? Okay. It said the attack happened in the Aoyama area, right? It's around the right time, too. At that moment, several police cars zoomed down the street, sirens wailing. Those police cars? They're heading towards Aoyama. Ah. <laughs> There's no way it could be true, right? <gasps> hey, Naoya's apartment is in Aoyama, right? Shouldn't we go check it out? I mean... Yeah. Y yeah. I would check it out. I'm a little scared, but he should be okay. Let's go. All right then, let's go. Let's go to Aoyama. Okay. Aoyama residential. Okay. It seems that the police were going to to the building. Now he lives in. After all, the screen is roped off by police, and a crowd of, and a crowd of onlookers has gathered. Someone else who has just arrived approaches you. Now yeah. I'm surprised to see you. What are you doing here? Uh, be worried. Th that's right. We thought something might have happened to you, Naoya. Oh, you mean the incident in the building? Yes, we... yes. Of course that's what we mean. What's going on, anyway? That weird email you made us read made us all jumpy. He's got a point. He's got a point. You're right. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to frighten you. Okay. The person who was eaten was a student like yourselves. He lived next door to me. He was eaten? No way. Nasty way to go out. Is what that email said really true? But we got the email before the incident happened. What does this mean? Uh... uh I mean, both are technically true. Down the future? Your thought process never ceases to amaze me. Usually, one would suspect that the one who sent the email carried out the murder. Okay. No wonder you're my cousin. Oh, uh, because I'm weird and an idiot like you? Nah. I understand why the two of you came here. But our meeting here is an accident. We shouldn't be talking like this. Okay. Hurry and find at Suro immediately. It's going to begin soon. Okay. Begin? What are you talking about? Naya looks away, and he seems to have no intention of answering any more questions. There isn't much time left. Listen carefully to me, both of you. Okay. Do not turn away from what is about to happen now. Do not be afraid to stand up against it. That is when the door of truth will open. Overcome your fate. Damn the oddly prophetic. He sounds like that religious guy. Oh, wait a second! Naya walks away. He's gone. Something didn't seem right with him, huh? I wonder what's wrong. I don't know. It sounds like something a pedophile might say. Just then, your cell phone rings. The caller I see says, Zero. 